Welcome fitness friends, Mike Cola here. In this video, I wanna go over exactly what I do in a day. We're gonna cover all the exercise that I do today, as well as all the different foods and the meals that I would be eating. See, what I'm doing right now is first thing in the morning, and I'm actually driving over to this park where I can take a 45 minute walk outside. And what I've had to eat so far, I woke up first thing in the morning about 5.30, I had two cups of black coffee, and I also drank a big bottle of Pellegrino mineral water, so I'm well hydrated. So I'm gonna take this 45 minute walk in a fasted state. We'll be there soon. So we just arrived at the park. It's a beautiful day in New York, and I'm gonna take a 45 minute walk along this path beautiful views of the water and obviously I'm doing this in a fasted state. I'm gonna be walking 30 minutes forwards but I'm also gonna walk 15 minutes backwards. This backwards walking has been really helpful for my knee. So how it works is that I walk about 15 minutes forward then I stop I maybe walk five minutes backwards and I'll do that three or four times along this walk. Plus the other benefit of walking first thing in the morning is that it's great for your circadian rhythm. See, I make sure I do not wear glasses because I want to absorb the sunlight. I want it to hit my eyes. I want to get the vitamin D from the sun. So let's get started with the walk. Now I've been walking forwards for about 10 minutes. So this is the first spot where I turn around and I start walking backwards. And I'm gonna do this for about five minutes. And I'll do that three different times along this 45 minute walk. So I'm halfway through my walk and there's a really nice 9-11 memorial right behind me. It's so important to get outside with nature. Look how beautiful this is right along the Hudson River. Besides building my aerobic base by taking this walk, I feel like I'm meditating when I'm moving. It's so good for your brain to clear your head and take a walk. So it's 8.30 in the morning. I just finished my 45 minute walk. I'm gonna hop in my car now. I'm gonna head over to my gym because I have a few clients to train. While I'm driving over to the gym, I wanna talk about why it's so important to get outside and get sunlight hitting your skin unprotected with that sunscreen on every day, preferably in the morning. First of all, when you wake up in the morning and sunlight hits your body, it kind of jump starts your circadian rhythm. Right? Like your circadian ry rhythm is your internal clock it regulates so many different hormones and reactions within the body. So the more sunlight you get during the day, the better you will actually sleep at night. So even if you don't have time to take a walk in the morning, try to go outside and drink your coffee or have your tea in the sun first thing in the morning for at least 10 minutes. It's gonna make a tremendous difference in your life. Plus, you absorb vitamin D from the sunlight. So even if you're taking a vitamin D3 supplement, which I think most people should do, take anywhere between 1,000 to 5,000 IUs, international units, I think that's a good idea. You also need to get vitamin D from the sunlight. And keep in mind, and this could be a little counterintuitive, the darker your skin naturally is, like I'm Italian, I have olive skin, if you're Afro-American, you actually need more sunlight to absorb vitamin D. Like for example, my wife is very fair. She has like incredible blue eyes. She burns easily. She does not need as much sunlight as I do to absorb vitamin D. So if you can, if you have time, get outside, take a walk first thing in the morning, or just have your coffee or tea outside. So we made it to the gym. There's my gym behind me, Mike Cola Fitness, little small personal training gym. I opened this gym up over 30 years ago. I've been at this location for about 10, 11 years. I've moved around, but let's go inside. So let's go in the gym. I'll show you how it looks. It's just a small personal training gym. I have all my favorite equipment here, a bunch of Cybex machines, a whole bunch of free weights. So I have a few clients to train now, but when I come back, we're gonna go over my pre-workout shake, and then we'll talk about my upper body resistance training workout that I'm going to be doing today. Okay, so now it's 12.45 in the afternoon. I just finished training a few of my personal training clients. Now I'm in my back office of my gym and I'm gonna break my fast with a pre-workout protein shake. So let's go over the ingredients. First, I'm gonna add six ounces of beet juice. See, beet juice is naturally high in nitrates, which gets converted into nitric oxide within the body 
which is great for exercise performance, great for, for blood flow, it vasodilates. You may have noticed that a lot of pre-workout powders have beetroot powder in them. I'm also going to add some celery juice to the drink, about 12 ounces of celery juice. See, celery juice is high in potassium, high in electrolytes, while at the same time being low in calories. Great to drink as a pre-workout or intra-workout drink. Now I'm going to add my protein powder. I'm going to go with a couple of scoops of hemp seed protein powder, which is a complete protein, has all nine of the essential amino acids. And I'm also going to add a scoop of collagen protein powder, which is really great for connective tissue, going to help me with my joints. I'm going to drink about half of this drink like right now, then I'm going to top it off with water and drink the rest of it as an intra workout drink. Because I'm getting ready now to do about a 60 to 70 minute resistance training workout for my upper body. Now this is how the pre-workout shake looks all mixed up, but I wanted to mention that I don't always have a pre-workout shake. I only do that when I want to be in a positive energy balance. If you follow my live stream that I did, a few weeks ago, I'm in the middle of an eight week cycle where I wanna be in a positive energy balance because I wanna put on muscle and gain some weight. So by having this pre-workout shake, which is probably maybe three, 350 calories, really helps me put on muscle. So I just finished my upper body resistance training workout. Now I'm gonna jump in the car, go home, take a shower. Then I'll have my first big meal of the day. A nice post-workout lunch. So I just jumped out of the shower. It's about 1.30 and I'm kind of hungry. So I'm gonna have about six or seven walnuts before I make my lunch. Actually, I love eating walnuts and cracking them out of the shell. First of all, it slows you down and make sure you're not eating too many. Plus, when I was a kid, I would always go over to my grandfather's and we would sit down, we'd crack over nuts and eat them together. It really was a lot of fun, so it really reminds me of him. So it's about 1.45 in the afternoon. I just had my walnuts. Now I'm ready to have my first main meal of the day. And I always prioritize protein. Okay, first of all, I have about four ounces of leftover salmon from last night, which is gonna give me about 25 grams of protein. I also have a can of sardines, which I absolutely love. I love sardines. In my opinion, they're like superfoods, high in omega-3s. Plus you get the bones, you get the skin, you get the connective tissue. So I'm gonna get another 25, maybe 30 grams of protein there. So the total protein in this dish is about 50 to 55 grams. I also have a whole bunch of arugula salad, about 100 grams of arugula salad. Similar to the beet juice that I had this morning, arugula is also very high in nitrates, which elevates my nitric oxide, which is incredibly healthy. Plus I have about five or six cut up strawberries. 
I also have a whole avocado cut up and then I used extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And I like to measure everything. So I measured out one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 130, 140 calories. Now I also wanna make sure that I'm getting enough protein today. I had about 25 grams this morning. I have about 50, 55 here. So for dessert, I'm also gonna have a plain Greek yogurt, which is gonna give me another say 15 grams of protein. And I'll probably sprinkle on it a little bit of ground flax seeds. So that brings me up to about, about 90 grams of protein so far. And I wanna make sure I get at least 150 grams of protein today. So for dinner tonight, I'll make sure I get at least 60, 70 grams of protein. So I just finished eating and now it's time for me to take my supplements. I'm gonna take a multivitamin. This is one of my favorites, it's called New Chapter. It's a whole natural food multivitamin. So all it is is like dehydrated, fruits and vegetables. I'm also gonna take a little bit of aged garlic, about 600 milligrams. Great for your circulatory system, good for your heart. I'm also gonna take a little bit of grape seed extract, also a good supplement for increasing the amount of nitric oxide within your body. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of vitamin D3. Even though I get a lot of sunlight, I also like to take a little bit of D3. I'm also having a cup of, of hibiscus tea. I love hibiscus tea. I drink about two to three cups of hibiscus tea every single day. You know, research has shown that drinking three strong cups of hibiscus tea can actually really lower blood pressure. And then I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a treat. I'm gonna have two squares of 85% dark chocolate. I really like dark chocolate. You just can't overdo it. I'm just going to have two squares. And then I have to jump in my car. I have to head back to my gym. I have a couple more clients to train, but on the way back home from the gym, I'm going to stop and do another 30 minute walk. I just finished training my last personal training client for the day. I just left the gym and I stopped here at the North County Trail to do one more 30 minute walk to end my day. And once again, I'm gonna do 20 minutes going forward, and I'm also gonna walk about 10 minutes going backwards. You know, this backwards walking is really helping my knee. Plus, let me show you this trail. This is a really a nice trail too. This is the North County Trail. This is a bike trail that runs for like dozens and dozens of miles. It's like right near my house. If I don't walk along the Hudson River, this is my other favorite spot to walk. But after this walk, I'm gonna head home and start getting dinner ready. Okay, so it's 7.45 at night. We just finished making dinner. This is what I'm having. I'm having a nice big piece of wild caught salmon, probably three quarters of a pound. I'm gonna get about 70, 75 grams of high quality protein plus omega-3s. Having some broccoli, having some stewed tomatoes. I'm probably gonna take seconds. So that's my last meal of the day. I'm well over 150 grams of protein. And then I'm gonna give myself one light beer for tonight. Well, I hope you enjoyed following me through today all the food that I ate and all my workout. Leave a comment, let me know what you think.